Navy pilot from a uh, carrier right now, where that carrier Ron, was based. About two hours ago, the first precinct results came in here at the headquarters. On Many Street. of the people who live in this neighborhood have lived here for years. Hello, I'm Rick Salinger, reporter for CBS News Colorado. Welcome to all those here tonight, and congratulations to the winners and nominees. I'd like to begin by thanking my news director, Christine Strain, my general manager, Tim Whelan, and photographer, Eric Bloomer, as well as all the kind people who wrote glowing letters about me to make this possible. Now you may be wondering, how did this guy who's been on Denver TV a total of 35 years end up here? Well, with your indulgence, I'd like to take you back in time. I went to the University of Illinois in Champaign-Urbana, which had a magnificent student radio station. That would become the biggest part of my college life. Upon graduation, I was all ready to go to work in Chicago radio, but Chicago wasn't ready for me. I found a job at a radio station in Hammond, Indiana for a whopping $125 a week. My next job was in Cleveland in radio and a much bigger market, but lower pay. In fact, it dropped to $90 a week at first. My goal at this point was to work in radio in Chicago. NBC hired me for its stations there in 1975. May I take your order, please? Yes, I'd like 10 cherry pies. From there, I got a job at WRTV in Indianapolis as a reporter, where the photographers taught me the art of writing to TV. How many cherries do you think are in this cherry pie? About 50. As it turns out, from the 10 pies, the greatest number of cherries in any one, seven. You gotta be kidding. At an investigative reporters convention, I met Roger Ogden, the news director of Channel 9 in Denver. Rick Salinger has been corresponding with Hinckley over the past two years. Now, I ended up spending six wonderful years at KBTV, now known as KUSA. Larry, I don't know how hard the wind is blowing here at Wadsworth and Coal Mine Avenue in Southern... But as the flashing red light led us through the streets of this cursed metropolis, it was apparent if people hadn't been found by now, their chances were very slim. Then we can find you. Okay. Okay? Okay. Do you want to bring it to us? Or... And I would tell them, Martin is dead. Everybody else is fine. We can't find him. 12-story storage building collapsed on top of him. I will call Wednesday or Thursday when I return to the United States. Okay? I promise you. Thank you. I had that goal to work in Chicago TV, and in 1986, NBC, WMAQ, Channel 5 there, hired me. Years ago, the first precinct's results came in here at the headquarters on Belmont Street. Next thing I knew, I was working as a correspondent for CNN, based in London. From CNN International, this is World News with Rick Salinger in London. Welcome to World News. In fact, the day after I signed my contract, Iraq invaded Kuwait. Here we take you live there to Saudi Arabia, and our correspondent is Rick Salinger. It's about a quarter of eight in the evening here in Saudi Arabia. It has been a very long day, and the F-15 fighters and the British tornadoes continue to take off. That journey involved covering the Gulf War, the breakup of Yugoslavia, including wars in Croatia and Bosnia, and then the misery and fighting in Somalia. Gun battles raged for hours. Most of the fighting took place between Somalis and United Nations troops from Nigeria. The fighting forced relief workers to take cover in their compounds. Feeding stations throughout Mogadishu were shut down. In several instances, fire was returned. Rick Salinger, CNN, Mogadishu. They are told up front if this war goes on another year, 40% of them may not come out of it alive and the death toll of birds smothered by the oil is continuing to rise. While covering a UN peace conference in London, I met a female journalist from Spain, also based in London, Isabel Marti. Suddenly, all of those endless road trips at a moment's notice to the world's most dangerous places took a back seat to having a personal life. We left London in late 93, got engaged on top of the Eiffel Tower and made plans to settle down in the place I enjoyed working and living the most, Denver. I am eternally grateful that the doors opened wide and I accepted a job as a reporter for Channel 4. Friends and family members traveled here to join others 
in paying their respects. Is that when you decided you would try to kill the president? Yes. I went to the hotel and waited till he came out. CBS 4's Rick Salinger. Hard to believe, but I've worked here 29 years. Longest job I've ever held. And as these waters recede, they're clear and calm. A global career. And so I am grateful to the management over the years who've allowed me the privilege of doing what I love to do at such a late stage in life. Live in Denver, Rick Salinger, CBS 4 News. And even better, as many of you know, I now have a son. Mark Salinger, who is following in my footsteps as a reporter and anchor at Channel 9. And my other son, Eric, is in his second year of medical school at the University of Colorado Anschutz. Thank you again to my family, bosses, colleagues, and all the fine people who have written letters on my behalf to make this Silver Circle honor possible.